I should probably have a pickup truck going through here, but what can you do? Top of the day in the morning, T. Top of the day. I am trying to put my seatbelt on. So we're in the car, obviously, and we're headed into Winnipeg. I need to get uh, a down payment together, you might say. A deposit, that's a better word, for the moose bumper that I ordered yesterday. I ordered it through uh, a place in town here. I told you, didn't I? Anyways, you know this already. I'm still waking up. But, uh, ah, yeah, so we gotta go put a deposit on this sucker. And then in five weeks, when it comes in, the rest will be due. So we better get ready, be prepared. And you moose out there, you better look out, because I'm ready this time. Well, I'll give you one guess as to where we are with this long of a lineup. Let's see, I'll show you where the lineup goes. Oh, yep, yep, yep. There we go, all the way around the back there, all the way there, all the way around to that nice blue building. Why did I say blue? Brown building. What, am I colorblind? Brown building. Tim Hortons. We're here at Tim Hortons. So I went and uh, put the deposit on the moose bumper today. Uh, looks like it should be here probably end of October into November. So it'll be here in time for winter. That'll be nice. I got a slap, no, a slam latch. Is that what they call it? Said it's really easy to open the hood. Otherwise, you have to like unscrew two of these big bolts. And in Canadian winters, you don't want to be doing that because you know water gets in there, and then it freezes, and then you can't move them. So, anyways, it's uh you pretty much you pull one pin out, and then the whole you put the whole moose bumper down flat, right? And then you can open your hood. So that should be interesting. Anyways, I'm gonna feel a lot better once I'm through this line. I can tell you that much. Pardon me? We only have cash right now. I don't Uh Yeah, that'll be good. Uh could I get a large coffee, two milk and a shot of espresso in it, please? That's it. Super duper. Hey, no one responds to it except that one guy at my old Timmy's. I don't like my new Timmy's. Yeah, she was saying they're, uh, they only have cash right now. Their debit machine is broken, so you can't use debit or credit card. No plastic, cash only. Good thing I've got a toonie. See that? That is a Canadian toonie. Do I even got it right? Yeah, see? That is $2. I've never showed you this before, have I? That's the queen on the front. Yes, we have $2 coins. We also have $1 coins. Our $1 coins are called loonies. <laughs> Not because we're all loony. At least I don't think. But uh, loonies because there's a loon, like the bird, the loon, on the back. So we called it a loony. This one's $2, so we just called it a toonie because we're clever like that. <laughs> I got 275. My coffee? Don't forget my coffee. There it is. Thank you. My day is now underway. Thank you, Timmy's. So are you guys getting tired of me showing you Steinbeck yet? I think I've shown you this whole city already. Can't believe we call this place a city. It is a city, like really it is. There's like 15,000 people that live here. Ha, you know I have twice as many subscribers as there are people in Steinbeck? Wow, that puts it into perspective. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Watching my videos and stuff. There's that bug right in front of you guys again. I know, I'm sorry. Every day, same thing. Can you imagine? Look at all this. And times it by two. And that would be Josh Topia. If I took 
myself and all of you and we all joined together and built a city it would be twice the size of this city man we could we could rule the world man we could make diesel the mayor <laughs> all right well we're back in town Mm-hmm. I know of a trail back here somewhere. It's actually four vehicles. That's where we went down with the bike yesterday or the day before, whenever I did that, the day before. I've been home way too long. I really, really need to get on the road. Hopefully the truck will be ready this afternoon. I should probably actually be at home right now waiting for a phone call, but I couldn't help myself. I wanted to do some off-roading with you guys in my car. You thought this was a family car for on the roads. Nah. -uh. I may have moved from close to the city, but I'm country. <laughs> I need a truck. What is that rattling noise? This thing is always rattling. Is it you guys? Anyways. Welcome to town. Oh, it's muddy here. That's the trail I was looking for yesterday. That's where it goes. Okay. I should probably have a pickup truck going through here, but what can you do? What you gotta do when you live out in the bush? What is rattling over here that's driving me crazy? Is the fan? I think we're almost there. I just hope no one's ripping through here with their uh, ATV, you know, drifting around these corners. <laughs> you never know, because that's what I would do. I would fly through here. Oh, my car is going. Oh, ow, 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 ow! Bumps. Looks like a dirt bike track, eh? <laughs> no, no, just my town. This is a nice peaceful spot. Yeah, I figured I'd come hang out here. You guys all know I'm like a very introvert kind of guy. Right? I like being alone. I wouldn't consider myself a loner, but I appreciate time alone, especially in nature. And honestly, I haven't been able to do this in since I was a kid almost. Just go out into the bush all by myself and just breathe in the fresh air, hear nature around me. This is why I moved out here. I would love to take you further, but apparently the ATV trail here is a little bit muddy. Oh, this is a mud bogging place. Oh yeah. I heard that they do mud bogging back here or mudding or whatever you want to call it. Let's see if I can get over here. Oh yeah. See, this is the mud bog thing. This where you take the quads through. Okay, I heard about this place. Huh. Found it. Now I need a quad. First a moose bumper. Can't have everything. Yeah, just hanging out with nature. How many of you guys like to do this? How many of you live way out here in the bush like this? Well, not here, here. I doubt any of you live here, here. Maybe a few of you do but I don't see any houses around here. So yeah, like I was saying, I wanted to come check this area out first myself before I bring Diesel here. I would love to bring Diesel here. He would love it. Just gotta be careful because of poison ivy and ticks and stuff. It's not really tick season, and I don't think it's poison ivy season. Everything's pretty much dying off because it's gotten 
cold enough to kill off a lot of that stuff already. It's hot today though, it's uh, 26 Celsius, probably about 75 Fahrenheit. Beautiful day to be in the bush, I tell you. I would love to encourage all of you watching this right now who live in a big city, to take a day or a weekend once and just escape the city and come out to a place like this, where there's just nothing. It's hard to find places like this in some parts of the world, I realize that. I've been to some parts of North America where this would not exist. Like, I could literally make as much noise here as I wanted. No one would hear it. That could be a bad thing also. I mean, if you get into trouble, there's no one to hear you cry for help. So, uh, you gotta be careful. You gotta be wise about it. Keep your eyes peeled. You know, just be alert for danger. I wouldn't come here at night by myself. Nah, -uh. not with a cougar in the area and black bears everywhere and whatever else they got here. Got a ton of snakes. I don't know when the snakes go into hibernation really. I know they hibernate, but man, on the way into town, they were all over the road. Just snakes everywhere. Poor guys got right in my way. I had to drive over a bunch of them. What are you doing in my way, man? That's not cool. They like the, the heat of the, the asphalt, right? Cause the, the road coming into town is paved, right? Uh, the main road and the snakes like to sit on the asphalt because it's it's warmer so did a leaf just fall on me or was that something else huh. these trees are still completely green look at that isn't that crazy how different trees lose their leaves at different times but anyways the whole point of m me making this clip right now is there's nothing wrong with living in the city absolutely nothing wrong with living in the city it's actually very convenient you have all your services right there right like they're very convenient here if i wanted a slurpee i'd have to drive 20 minutes to go get a slurpee just saying but take a weekend just to get away go with your family go by yourself whatever you want there's something that it does to i don't know if it's your soul or the inside your emotions however you want to see it just being alone with nature or just in nature this is why I moved out here, because this is who I am. This, this feels like home to me. Just because the majority of my childhood was spent in the bush. We grew up in the bush, so maybe that's why it's something special to me. But for me, I find it at peace, you know? So different from the busy city. All you hear is horns honk and people yelling, people walking, crossing the street, jaywalking all over the place, cars everywhere. Uh -uh, not here. It's paradise. Some areas that have a lot of bush have a lot of people in it as well, right? Remember when I was in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I was talking about how nice it was that it was all in the bush, yet it was still a city? It felt like this and looked like this. However, there was a city in there. That's cool. I like it when people do that. But here, there is no people. Once you go through that bush over there, you just find more bush. And you keep going, and you keep going, and you keep going. Like I am on the edge of the earth here. The edge of civilization cell signal ends about a, a, a couple miles from here so here this is like a dead zone there is nothing here let's look at my phone see that there at the top that little thing there no service so literally i am completely disconnected from the outside world here i mean i have a radio in my car you could watch that but there is no internet So much, like life just instantly becomes so much simpler. Worries just go away. Well, it's time to go home. I don't want to miss that phone call. I actually got to go call them and see if, see how the truck's doing. I'm very anxious to find out how the truck is doing. I want to know.
You know what this means, right? I just got off the phone with the shop that's fixing my truck. All they gotta do is reinstall that fender mirror and it's done, ready to go. That means we can leave on a trip tomorrow, or even today if they have something. I wonder, they probably won't have anything this late. It's like 2.30 already in the afternoon. I better call dispatch right now and tell them, hey, I'm ready to make money. Here, give me something to do. All right, well, I just got off the phone with dispatch before I left the house. And we're going to Virginia. Nice 1,400 mile run to get me back in shape. So tomorrow's Wednesday. We're leaving Wednesday morning. Or Wednesday, whenever we get going. We've got Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to get there. But we want to get unloaded on Friday as early as possible. Because we're going to need to uh, get over to get reloaded sometime on Friday yet too, right? I don't know where the reload will be, but we need enough time on Friday to get that done as well. So we should try to get unloaded in the morning sometimes so that we have the afternoon for the reload. Oh, it's exciting. I'm so glad they're sending me down there. <laughs> I missed the south already. It's so nice being up here in the summertime. But you know, the leaves are changing color. That's not a good sign. It's time to get out of here. Oh, isn't this a familiar, good, satisfying sight? Seeing that brand new hood in front of you. Brand new hood. Oh, it's running nice. So we're bobtailing, we're gonna bobtail home. And then my mom is behind me in my car. We decided to take my car instead, just made more sense. And then, once we get to my house, I'll give her a ride home. And that'll be that. We'll be ready to take off tomorrow morning for Virginia. Don't worry, I'll show you the outside of the truck later yet. Don't worry, I just want to get it home right now. I like the headlights that they put in here. They put a little bit better headlights in here for me. Very nice. So you guys want to see it, don't you? You want to see it. Should we show them Diesel? Should we show them? Oh, I guess we can show them, man. I guess we can show them. I'll wait here, though. I'm kind of tired. I've been napping all day. I'd be tired, too, if all I did was nap all day. Okay, well, let's go take a look at the truck. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And look, they put better headlights in there for me too. These are brighter. Very nice, so. It's got the brand new bumper. Brand new fender. It's actually a whole brand new hood. Brand new headlights, signal lights. Brand new grill. It looks so good. It looks so good. Looks even better parked in front of my house. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Anyway, so guys, it's back to work tomorrow. I know all of you are going like, it's about time, truck or trash. I know. So we're gonna head out to Virginia in the morning. We're gonna first go pick up our trailer at the yard near Winnipeg and then on our merry little way, making money again. And I hope all of these flies die in here while I'm gone. They're stuck between the screen and that door, right? Shouldn't have gone in there, buddies. Now look at you, now you're stuck. Not my problem. Why is there so many? Yikes. Oh, the flies out here are just crazy. Yep. So it's been an exciting day for me, guys. I got my truck back. Uh, it was a long drive out there. Uh, it's so nice of my mom to give me a ride out there and give me a ride back to my house here, and then I gave her a ride back to her house. It was pretty much a whole afternoon of just driving, 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 driving. What was that, like two and a half, three hours of driving today? That's a lot in a car. I mean, once I get back in my truck there, I mean, that's just going to be a cakewalk, but... Tomorrow, I'll be driving at least 10 hours, probably 11, a full 11, because I'm going down into the States and I want to make it a thousand kilometers. So, take about 11 hours. We're going to try to get to Black River Falls, Wisconsin tomorrow. We'll see. Man, you guard the house good today, man. You did a good job. Good job. High five. Oh, I don't understand, man. Fine then. 
Don't high five me. Leaves me hanging. Oh, so there's not much to do other than edit yesterday's video, today's video, get them uploaded for you so that I'm all caught up for when I hit the road tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get everything here ready to go. I'm probably gonna put it in the truck and everything when I'm done with it just so that it's there. So I can just wake up, start the truck up, shower, take off. I am ready. I am ready. Are you guys ready? You guys ready for some trucking vlogs? We're going trucking tomorrow. I've been at home for a long time. So we're gonna go trucking. It's time. We did some exciting things today, right? We went off-roading with the car. We went and picked up the truck. The truck is now mm, over there. And we're headed out first thing in the morning. So I'm gonna cut the vlog here a little early. It might be a little shorter than usual. I have no idea how much I filmed, uh, but I'm gonna quickly throw it together, edit it up so I can upload it overnight because I've gotta get ready to leave now. So I can't be vlogging anymore. I've gotta pack everything up because I ain't done nothing yet. Because I'm lazy. I procrastinate what? It doesn't mean you're lazy. Procrastinate. Okay guys, we need to get this done now. So I still need to edit this and upload this and render it and all that fun stuff. So I will talk to you tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time. Tomorrow, we're going truck.